action by the Father, the man. Salvation must come by the Father who is the Son, the Son who is the Father. Acts 20:28. 20, God shed his blood for you. That blood that was shed upon the cross was Jesus Christ. So according to Acts 20:28 20, and other scriptures, Jesus is God and God is Jesus. No man called a father will be able to get you out of hell or give you any mercy or give you anything. Abraham cannot answer this guy's prayers. And listen, if he calls, if the rich man calls Abraham father, that means that this rich man was a Jew. A Jew is God's people. A Jew is the nation of Israel under God. And this man who is of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, being of the chosen nation, of the chosen seed, if he What are you going to rely on? If a child of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is in hell, do you think you can walk up there and say, I've got the Roman Catholic Church. I'm a Jehovah Witness. I'm an atheist. Hey, how about this? I'm a Baptist God. Yeah, a Baptist God. You made Baptist a God. Here's a man of credentials of the Bible that says that of all the people, this guy was the people, this guy was of the race, and yet he is found in hell. Don't think you're born into something. Don't think you join something. Don't think you have membership in something. That you're going to go to heaven because of who you are. This man is who he should be, and he ends up in a place where she, where he shouldn't end up. All right. Then he said, "I pray thee, Father, that thou would send him to my father, my father's brethren, for I have five brethren." You know, in hell. You're going to remember your praying, Mom. You know in hell, you're going to remember your drinking, Dad. You know in hell, you're going to remember your beautiful sister. You know in hell, you're going to remember that, that idiot brother. You know in hell that, that aunt that everybody hates, you're going to remember. You know in hell, you will remember Woe to you if you go to hell by a mother kneeling down and praying for your soul, child. Because you will remember that in hell your mother's on your knees for you to be saved. The Bible says you will remember. He remembers his five brethren. He will remember that son-in-law that tried to invite you out to church. He will remember that mother-in-law that, that gave you a Bible. He will remember the day that as a brother you got saved and you became an idiot. You became a, 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 a freak show. You became a fool trying to get me to go to church, trying to get me to believe in this Jesus. He will remember that. And yet the Bible records he remembers his brethren. That he may testify, verse 28. Get verse 28. Now, why are we here? Why are we here? Praise and worship the Lord. Why are we here? Why are we trying to upset your Saturday afternoon? Sir, please don't yell. Please don't yell. Why are we here sir. this afternoon? Sir, sir, sir. 
I just heard you yelling. No. Why are we here this afternoon? Please don't yell. We're having fun listening to the birds and doing our... Why are we here? You don't have a right to disturb my ear sight. Why are we here? I love Jesus. Why are we here? I don't like radios either. I'm going to tell you why we're here. I love Jesus. We are sent here by Mark chapter 16. Go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. We are here by God's commandment to tell you about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That Christ died for your sins. That Christ was buried according to the scriptures. That Christ arose from the grave the three days according to the scriptures. We are sent here by Mark 16 to go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. We would be here even if our church didn't take part in outreach ministry. I have been in churches that did not take part, and I've still preached on the street. I still passed out tracks. But why are we here, people? We are here according to Luke 16, verse 28. Your family member wants us here. For I have five brethren that they that he might testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Your relatives that have died and gone into hell want us to bring the Bible to you because this is not a family reunion that wants to be joined. None of your family in hell wants you there. Luke 16 says that a man in hell, recorded by Jesus, written by Jesus, says that a lost man in hell wants us to go to his family and tell them how to get out of hell. That's what the Bible commands. Not only does Mark 16 Not only does Mark 16 tell us to go eat all the world and preach the gospel, which we do. Mark 16 said, go eat all the world and preach the gospel. Mark 16 says, go eat in all the world and preach the gospel. Luke 16 says a rich man in hell wants us to preach the gospel. Mark 16, Luke 16 wants the gospel to be preached to you by Jesus and by a rich man in hell. How's that? We are commanded by God and we're commanded by people in hell to come and preach to you. So you can thank your dead relatives for us being here. There are people who have died and gone to heaven and say, Yay! Preach it! Tell them about it. And there are people in hell saying, Yay! Preach it! Tell them about it. In the Bible, in the Bible, when a man dies and goes to heaven or goes to hell, they become a Bible believer. There are no atheists in hell. They all believe in God upon death. And a man that is in hell today wants us to bring to you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, even though him, he himself or she herself has never believed the Bible recorded by Jesus says that they want you to go to their family and tell them the way of hope that they may not come to the place of torment. We're just fulfilling what the Bible commands to us. We're just fulfilling souls that are in hell. 
I may not get a drink of water. I may not get mercy. I may have no hope. But will you go tell my family about this place? And will you tell them how Jesus can save them? Even in a message about hell, there is hope. The hope is that you will believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. And not able ever to enter into a place called hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The opposite. Not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. John chapter 3. I don't want to listen to you, preacher. I don't care. I got my church. I got my ways. John 3.36 He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. That is belief on the Lord Jesus Christ. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. By the way, you won't hear birds in hell. You won't hear no bird song in hell. And when Jesus spoke, the birds hushed their singing. So you better not be a bird praying for your entire life. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life, where my name is written, was cast into the lake of fire. Put your name in the Lamb's book of life by the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved from the wrath of God, and you will never end up in a place called hell. You will continue to receive the mercy and grace and love of God, and yet, and yet, if you choose to reject Jesus, Luke 16 tells you about your faith. Your faith will be, go tell my family about Jesus.